this fair has done for Miami is beyond our wildest dream when we first uh, thought about bringing it some years back. It's expanded to, um, to what I think is even a greater fair than in Switzerland because of the, the satellite fairs and all the activity that goes on in private homes and in parties. There are a lot of, uh, you know, clients from all over the world, which makes this fair really special, I think. Because it's really like in the center of, uh, geographically, you know, it's very well located. So it really gathers people from Europe, North America, South America, so we're pleased. The States are still the biggest um, market for contemporary art in the world and that's the main fair for the whole country at the moment and the people fly in from all over the place so that's the reason why we come here. It's full of the content. People look really at the works, they really talk about it and they want to see exactly what it's about. Sure, but in a way I found that some galleries didn't take enough risks for example. They are betting more on sure and safe, which is nice, it gives me comfort. But then I like to see galleries taking some risks with younger artists, I think they deserve a chance. And I think the collector should give them a chance too. I'm a child of a country that was ravaged by war. And it's because of this war that I lived elsewhere. I lived in Dubai for all my life. Because I'm a child of conflict, I really truly believe that art is the answer. You understand people more, you understand cultures more. And coming to, to art fairs like Miami, it just cement this further. We're always looking for art that, that basically uh, brings up the level of our collection, and there's plenty here that does. I think uh, everything that is good, whatever, it's always a good investment. The problem is when you start buying things that are not good in any market. Like gold is always good, and art, if it's good art, it's good. If it's bad art, it's not good. Come to, the, come to Art Basel and enjoy the, and see some of the finest art in the world really what it's about.